All right, one of the other maintenance items that we need to address here on the Holy Roller is the fuel filters. Now the fuel filters, there's two of them. There's one right here by an outside bay and then there's one mounted to the engine block and it's kind of underneath the bed. And we need to change both of those and so we're gonna kind of walk through how to do that. Um, one is a fuel water separator. Uh, it's got a bowl on the bottom of it where water, which is heavier than fuel, will fall. And after every fill up, you're supposed to uh, unscrew that a little bit and let some fuel run out just to make sure there's no water in the fuel. The other is a, is a filter that's mounted there on the engine. Let's also consult the manual. All right, so we've got the manual here and it talks about changing the fuel filter that's mounted on the engine block. We can start there. First off, it asks that we drain the fuel out of it. Uh, there's a drain lever. We can lift that up for five seconds and the fuel will just drain down, uh, down onto the ground. And then the next step is to remove the top and take out the filter itself. And then finally replace the filter uh, and the O-ring that goes on it. Lube up that O-ring with some clean engine oil and hand tighten the lid back. So we can do that right now. All right, so we're back here under the bed. You can see the top of the engine here. And over here on the left side, you will see that is where the fuel filter is. So we need to take that top off, drain a little fuel out of it, and then replace the filter. Now, one of the things that I have learned is that you're not supposed to stick, what it says is put a, a socket down in that hole in the top in the middle. And everybody says, don't do that get a socket on the on the nut around the top of it and that will help take that top off that filter a whole lot easier so let's get to doing that this is the secondary fuel filter the filters in here is chemically coated to prevent water from getting in the engine as well as that that other fuel filter has the water bowl um, but so the first thing we're going to do is put this inch and eight socket on and we're going to try to remove this filter. All right, so we've got the filter loose. And now what we can do is drain the fuel out of the bowl, which is with this valve here. We can just open that up and fuel is just running down from there down to the ground. All right, so We'll take the top off and we'll just set that over here on the engine. We can take the fuel filter out as well. What we're also going to do is clean that bowl. If you can see down in there, there's some trash down in the bowl that's dirty, so we want to clean that out as well while we've got this open. Now you do want to be careful here if you are using this method because there is a sensor in the back of this bowl that detects if there's water in the fuel water separator part of this bowl. So you don't want to hit that sensor with anything you're sticking down in that bowl. Um, my hands are too big to get down into the bottom there, so I'm using the the other end of that uh, of that brush that I use to clean part of the engine. So just be careful about uh, if you do this, be careful with that sensor that's back there. Okay, so in the box, we have the new filter, and we also have the new O-ring. And over here we have the old filter and the old O-ring. And so what we'll do is the filter clamps into little clamps up here on the top. So what we're gonna do is take the old filter off. And right here we'll take the old O-ring off. Now, the new O-ring here says to put a little bit of oil on it, so I'm going to get a little bit of oil on my finger here. I'm going to oil the O-ring. And then we'll put the O-ring back on 
this and make sure it's all the way up. And now we'll get the new filter and you want to put it where the closed end is up and the hole for the filter is the bottom. So now let's go back inside the RV and put this back in. So now what we'll do is put the filter in and now the top and make sure that you put a new o-ring around the top snug this on down remember you don't want to snug it I mean you don't want to put it on there so tight that you can't get it off but obviously we don't want any leaks rinse it off and that's done okay so the next thing we're going to do is prime the engine just by turning the key not to crank but just to on let the fuel filter run and fill that fuel filter case back up with diesel fuel and so we'll get the engine back running and we'll do that before we do the other filter so you don't have so much air in the lines that the fuel pump has a hard time pressurizing the system back all right so now the next part is this is the fuel water it's a fuel filter and it's a fuel water separator so what we're going to do is we're going to change this. So we're going to use a strap wrench. We're going to loosen this up. And then there's going to be some fuel that spills out here. So we're going to want some gloves as well. All right. So here's first thing we'll do is get the strap wrench on this. Try to loosen this thing up. <clears throat> and there it is. All right, so now that's loose, we can take the strap wrench off. Let's... So there is that. Let's look and see. Here, look at this. Look at this trash that this filter caught. Can you see that right there? Look at that trash that was in the fuel tank and the fuel filter kept it from going into the RV. Here's some more. That's the... So we can pour out the fuel. All right, so while that's doing that, we can take the bowl off because this bowl you can reuse. And if you, I don't know if you can see down in there or not, but there's trash down inside of this as well, down in the bottom, but not much. But boy, it sure did catch a whole lot of trash up there at the top. So it's doing its job. And there's also some gunk down in here in the bowl. So let's clean the bowl out real good. Rubber O-ring in this as well we want to keep track of. All right, so we're gonna use a screwdriver here to get rid of some of this gunk or get it off the edge there. And then we can also take the, the drain out. sure that everything is clean-ish down in there. All right, so we will put the drain back in there. All right, old filter, old and old two O-rings. So now let's get the new filter. Okay, so here's the new fuel water separator, fuel filter, fuel whatever. And then inside of here is a new gasket and another new, a new O-ring for. So there's a ring there. Then this ring is gonna go in here. All right, so what we'll do here is get a little bit of oil on my finger and we will oil, put just a tiny, just a smooth sheen of oil on 
that gasket and also on this o-ring just to kind of season it <laughs> now we'll put the o-ring down inside of the drain bowl and now we'll put the drain bowl on the bottom of the filter okay now we'll also want to do just a hair a little bit of oil on this right here and this actually makes it a whole lot easier to to take off now the last thing we're gonna do now this is gonna go right there so but the next thing I'm gonna do rather because I don't want to crank on this thing for hours I'm gonna fill this fuel this filter up with diesel fuel and then install it like that so there won't be much air in the lines now some people will say to cover this up and to pour the new diesel fuel into here so that it's filtered through this filter once it gets into there but I'm not really gonna worry about that because I just got this out of a uh, out of a tank so um, I'm fairly certain the diesel fuel that we're gonna put in is good so all right, so it's full of diesel. I'm gonna put this O-ring on the threads here. All right, and now we'll put the fuel filter in here. Get this started. Now I'm going to take my gloves off and I'm going to get all my tools out of the way. I'll leave my strap wrench here. Okay, so back here at the fuel filter, what we're going to do is kind of clean this off, make sure all of the diesel fuel that is real slick is gone from this thing so that then we can tighten it. So we're, we should be good there. And now what we'll do is, again, turn the key to one click, let the fuel pump prime everything, and then we'll crank it up. The other part, the other trick is that once you crank it up, you wanna hold it at a high idle for a little bit so that if there is any air in the system, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't choke off the engine itself. So let's go do that. Now dad's going to crank the RV up and we're going to check for leaks. Now. Okay, so both filters are changed. There's no leaks anywhere. Good project. So all of these maintenance things are just like life. You have to do maintenance on your body, whether you're working out or whether you're having your daily quiet time so that you're strong physically, strong spiritually, have some time for you. This is my mental time too. This makes me think, but hey man, get out there, have fun with your family, do some maintenance, get outside your comfort zone a little bit, make sure you make it to church on Sunday. Okay, this whole project is done. Pro tip here, do not follow the manual. Fill that filter up with diesel whenever you replace that secondary fuel filter. And if you replace the secondary fuel filter drain, once you have everything back together, fill that thing up with diesel. Because if you don't, even though you follow the manual about cycling the, uh, the switch on and off and, and keep running the fuel filter to fill up the bowl, number one, that'll take you forever. And number two, you still got to crank on it and crank on it and crank on it, and it literally could kill your batteries. I mean, I mean, honestly, you're cranking on it for minutes, not 30 seconds or something. It takes forever. So, pro tip, make sure you fill those the filters or the filter bowl back up with clean diesel before you hook, it, hook everything back up, and that way you won't have to grind on the starter for so long. So, this project is done. We're not leaking any more fuel. It's all good. Get out there, RV vacate have fun with your family spend a lot of time with your family remember it's quality time and quantity time but make sure you make it to church on sunday <laughs>